PGA Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. So that's the final word from Beamer. Let's see how this one goes. And let's see what he can do here today. That's tidy. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, that was a little loose, wasn't it? A bit wild on approach there. Tried to fade it, just didn't make it happen. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Starting the round at even par. That's a rock solid par right there. This hole is a par five. That dog will hunt. Playing to the green well below your feet. It's always nice to see the ball fly to the hole. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. Henny. You've had the chance to have a look over this one? All right, down the hill here, gotta be gentle. If it's up, it could be in. And down it goes for an eagle. He's currently tied for 15th. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Here we have it. Try to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. <laughs> Nicely done. Playing from around 150 yards here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Surely it's going to. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Getting ready to play their third.
Hmm. Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Now we're on the fourth tee here at Jacobson Homestead, and it's a par three, playing 181 off the back tees. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this par three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up? Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Important part here. They make it. They're into the top five. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the pitching wedge here. Should find the green. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Got to like their chances from there. An opportunity here to move into a tie for first. This one has eyes for the hole. And that will drop in for a birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are at the sixth hole. That tee shot looks pretty good. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are, if you don't pull off that shot, well, shame on you. So I think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say, oh, I don't want to miss it there because that's dead. I've seen it happen before. When you go into a new golf course, Luke, you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side. Don't get too greedy. Don't try and make too many things happen. Go in there, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts here and there, get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins.
And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Yes! That'll help make a big move. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. Setting up in the first cut here. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the seventh. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, a nine foot chance here. This is what they have left for Birdie here. It's on a good line. Nice one. Fourth Birdie of the day. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Not bad. Putting for birdie here. This one's tracking. Ouch, that hurts. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yeah, good job. Nice par. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Setting up here with a very long putt. Uh, that'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it just a tap in awaits. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time now to take in the ninth hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 170 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. What a shot, almost went in the bucket. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Ooh, just missed that one. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. So as we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Yeah, fantastic round today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Lots of great players chasing this player. Let's see if they can keep up the good work.
Welcome to this par five hole. Going and going and going. Sitting at minus nine for the day. Outright first here. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 11 feet from the cup. Hey, nice looking line. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Next up is this two-shot hole. Good shot there. Time for the second shot at the 11th. They've chosen to club down on this one. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varna III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, almost went in. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Going with the seven. Nicely done. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. OK, time to return to the action. A look to get to 13 under par. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A par part of weights. That gets the job done. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we?
That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? And from around 135 yards... This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well played. Ah, uh, nicely done. Great chip. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Great feel, great judge, great speed. Yeah, I like this. sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. And we find ourselves on the tier, one of the stronger par fours on the back nine here at Jacobson Homestead. The 14th playing 483, Rich, from the tips. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully out to the right-hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. I'll tell you what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. Yeah, that one's looking good. A wonderful shot into 14 and sets up another look at birdie. A well holds, he'll take the birdie. Back to back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And now let's head over to Harold Varna the third. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Come on, ball. Come on. Yeah, that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. Excellent job. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Playing from around 210 yards here. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, that's a great play, Rich. Not quite on the dance floor, but a mighty drive. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Let's take a look at HV3. Oh, that's a ripper. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Oh, well hold. That was sensational, Luke. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing.
and staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. It's time for a one-shotter. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Outstanding approach shot. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. On a nice line. Oh, how about that one? He sits in first position. We have a par four on this one. You like that, didn't you? And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Had a fantastic drive. That should set up another chance. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction.
starting to look really good. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. We'll hold. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Still in the lead now after that hole. Rich, we find ourselves at the finishing hole here at Jacobson Homestead, and, and it seems strange to be playing it just at 400 yards. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees, and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. Putting for a par now. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And another round safely in the books.